on the way. Send it. When it comes to military might, tanks remain a key component of many nations' arsenals. In the modern era, two tanks have emerged as leaders in terms of design and capabilities. The T-14 Armada and the M1 Abrams. Both of these tanks are equipped with the latest technology, making them among the most advanced on Earth. As nations around the world continue to invest in their military capabilities, the question arises, which of these two tanks is superior? In this video, we'll compare the T-14 Armada and the M1 Abrams in terms of their design, capabilities, and performance. We'll also explore their strengths and weaknesses to provide a comprehensive analysis of each tank. Whether you're a military enthusiast or simply curious about the world of modern tanks, this video is sure to provide insights and information. So sit back and get ready to discover the fascinating world of modern tank technology. First, let's delve into the history of both tanks. The M1 Abrams is a third-generation main battle tank developed by General Dynamics Land Systems for the United States Army. The development began in the 1970s as a replacement for the aging M60 Patton tank, with the first M1 tanks produced in 1979 and first used in combat during Operation Desert Storm in 1991. Since then, the M1 has been continually upgraded with new technology including improved armor and weapon systems to maintain its status as one of the world's most advanced MBTs. The M1 has been used by the U.S. military in a variety of conflicts, including Operation Desert Storm, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Operation Enduring Freedom. It's also been exported to several other countries, including Egypt, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia. The T-14 Armada, on the other hand, is a Russian main battle tank developed by the Ural Vagan Zavid Corporation. It was first unveiled to the public during the Victory Day Parade in Moscow on May 9, 2015. The T-14 is a next-generation main battle tank designed to replace the aging T-72 and T-80 tanks in Russian service. It's equipped with several advanced features, including a remotely controlled turret, an unmanned turret crew compartment, and active protection systems. Development of the T-14 began in the early 2000s as part of Russia's effort to modernize its military. The tank is considered to be one of the most advanced MBTs in the world, and it's been praised for its advanced capabilities, including its high level of protection, firepower, and mobility. The T-14 has not been used in combat as of yet, but it's expected to play a major role in the modernization of the Russian military. It's received significant attention from military experts and analysts who consider it to be a major step forward in the development of MBT technology. Now let's move on to their comparison. Both M1 Abrams and T-14 Armada are highly capable and advanced tanks. However, there are some notable differences between them as follows. Number 1. Armor The armor on both the M1 Abrams and T-14 Armada is designed to protect the tanks and its crew from enemy fire. The M1 Abrams is equipped with a Chobham Armor Suite, which is a composite of materials that provides excellent protection against various types of weapons. Conversely, the T-14 Armada features an unmanned turret, which allows the crew to operate the tank from a secure and armored compartment within the hull of the vehicle. The design provides additional protection for the crew, as they're not exposed to enemy fire in the turret. Moreover, the tank is also equipped with an active protection system that can detect and intercept incoming projectiles, providing an extra layer of defense for the tank which this system is not present on the M1 Abrams. Overall, both tanks have advanced armor systems, but the T-14 Armada's unmanned turret and active protection system provide an additional level of protection for the crew, making it more survivable on the battlefield. Number 2. Weapons The weapon system on the T-14 Armada and the M1 Abrams are an essential component of their military capabilities. Both tanks are armed with a powerful main gun that's designed to engage enemy armor and other hard targets, as well as machine guns for defense against infantry and other light targets. The M1 Abrams is equipped with a 120mm smoothbore gun, which is a well-proven and highly effective weapon system. The smoothbore design of the gun provides increased accuracy and penetration compared to older rifle designs. 
On the other hand, the T-14 Armada is armed with a 125mm smoothbore gun, which is slightly larger and potentially more effective than the M1 Abrams gun. The larger size of the gun can potentially provide increased firepower and penetration, although this will depend on many factors such as ammunition type, gun stability, and crew training. In general, while both tanks are well armed, the T-14 Armada's larger main gun gives it a slight advantage in terms of potential firepower and effectiveness in combat. Number 3. Mobility The M1 Abrams is known for its agility and high road speed, which makes it well suited for fast-paced operations on roads and highways. Its powerful engine allows it to reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour on roads, giving it a significant advantage over other tanks in terms of mobility. On the other hand, the T-14 Armada has a higher power-to-weight ratio, which makes it more mobile in rough terrain. The T-14's more powerful engine, combined with its lighter weight, allows it to traverse difficult terrain more easily and effectively than the M1 Abrams. This makes the T-14 Armada well-suited for operations in challenging environments, such as mountains and rough terrain. Overall, both tanks have strengths in terms of mobility, but the M1 Abrams is better suited for fast-paced operations on roads and highways, while the T-14 Armada is more capable in challenging environments. Number 4. Electronics both tanks are equipped with advanced fire control systems that enhance their accuracy and effectiveness in combat, as well as battlefield management systems that improve situational awareness and coordination with other military assets. While both tanks have cutting-edge electronics, the T-14 Armada has a more advanced suite of electronics that sets it apart. It's equipped with an active protection system, which uses radar and other sensors to detect and intercept incoming projectiles before they reach the tank. This system provides a significant improvement in the tank's defensive capabilities and can greatly increase the survival rate of its crew. In comparison, the M1 Abrams does not have an active protection system, although it may have other advanced electronic systems that compensate for this. Overall, the T-14 Armada's advanced electronic suite gives it a clear advantage over the M1 Abrams in terms of overall technological sophistication and capability. Number 5. Engine the M1 Abrams is powered by a 1,500-horsepower gas turbine engine, a modified helicopter engine, which provides it with a high power output, making the tank quick and efficient in cross-country performance. The gas turbine engine is multi-fuel, can start at low temperatures, and operates quietly, therefore called whispering death. However, it has high fuel consumption and maintenance issues. The T-14 Armada, on the contrary, is powered by a compact and powerful 1,200-horsepower turbocharged diesel engine. This new generation engine is fuel-efficient and easier to maintain, but its performance has not been proven and may have some issues. Overall, both tanks have their pros and cons in terms of engine power, with the M1 Abrams having faster acceleration, but the T-14 Armada being more fuel-efficient and easier to maintain. Number 6. Design the M1 Abrams has a classic tank design with a turret on top of the hull and a long gun mounted on the turret. The tank has a length of 32.04 feet, a width of 12 feet, and a height of 8 feet. It weighs approximately 68 tons. The T-14 Armada, on the other hand, has a more modern and futuristic design with a more angular turret and a shorter gun. It has a length of 35 feet, a width of 11 feet, and a height of 11 feet. It weighs around 48 tons. The T-14 also has a unique feature of an unmanned turret, which sets it apart from most traditional tank designs. In terms of size, the M1 Abrams is slightly larger than the T-14 Armada, but the T-14 is lighter and it has a lower profile, making it more maneuverable. So which one is better? Both the M1 Abrams and T-14 Armada are highly capable tanks, but they possess different strengths and weaknesses. The M1 Abrams has proven technical superiority in mobility and cross-country performance and has been in service for over 40 years. The T-14 Armada, on the other hand, has superiority in crew protection and survivability, better armor protection with unmanned turret, larger main gun, advanced electronic suite, and more futuristic design compared to M1 Abrams. However, the T-14 is a relatively new design with several issues and it not yet been adopted by the Russian Army as of 2022, with its future uncertain due to technical difficulties and funding constraints. 
Eventually, the true performance of the two tanks will depend on many factors and can only be determined through real-world testing and comparison. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you have a better understanding of these two incredible tanks.